Oh, look, it's coming. It's on its way. Hey, what's up, guys? Mo? Mo, Greg. Greg, Big Mo. Big your channel. Oh, thank yeah, you very much. Why... What do you reckon about the Vision Jet? Vision Jet, actually, it, 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 actually, come to think of it, it's not that much bigger than a Seminole. Yeah, I remember seeing it at Avalon Air Show. We actually got to go sit in the mock-up one they had there. Yeah, And good, even then, that was a sitting and it was just like really cool. It's so good to see it in person. It makes a cool sound, yeah? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get out of the plane. Yes. Yours. <laughs> All right, I'll go last. I'm last. I, um, I lost the rock, paper, scissors as well, so oh. I'm flying it last. I'm flying it <laughs> I'm a bit annoyed about that. We're just about to jump on board uh, the brand new Cirrus Vision Jet, the first one in the country. First one in the country. All of this is thanks to Stuart, who's organised it for me. Not only is he organised this, Stuart was the guy that sold me Echo Yankee Zulu as well. Oh, it was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> so, everyone who's watched the channel and watched Echo Yankee Zulu flying, you've got this man to thank. Yep. Am I going to enjoy this? He is going to love it. We're, we're going to look for the smile on his face when he gets back <laughs> and see how big it is. <laughs> thanks for hooking it up, Stuart. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot, Stephen. If you mean that if below a fire takeoff distance is here, we'll type in 4319. We're being very conservative putting the 50 foot obstacle so number. Engine start. So it's a FADEC engine, I have no controls. It's the simplest start ever. It lights off. I got motion on in one. Just a little break so on top. I, I drive in uh, SR22 G3. Oh yeah, so this is a yeah. gun. very, very similar to you. So my biggest problem here is that I'm going to light this too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a problem for a sales guy. <laughs> Final's clear, base is clear, left, high, and low is clear. All right, rolling start. Yes, sir. We'll just do a rolling start here. So you start bringing a little bit of power up now, just to stabilize it here. Keep it coming around with the brakes for now. Okay. There you go. Release the brakes here. We we'll just kind of get it rolling. Bring the throttle about halfway up. And now we'll go full throttle, just bring it all the way up past the click, the full takeoff power, the left foot here is needed. There you go. Got it. Let it come back with the airflow. Full to full throttle now. You got a little more left there. There it is. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Looks good. Airspeed's alive. Cast is clear. We got great acceleration. 60. 85. There it is. Nice and easy. Pull it up. We're airborne. Bring the nose down a hair. Trim forward over here if you need to, just a little bit. That'll reduce the force. That's better. All right. Grab the gear handle, bring that out and up. Now you just come back to the trim wheel and be ready to trim forward a little bit more even. Just make it feel nice and light in the head. Really good. Great takeoff. Thank you. You're flying a jet, man. Uh, don't believe it. <laughs> Looking great. We're clear of all obstacles out here. Now you come back to that click, that MCT. So you're going to okay. pull that back and you're going to pull it right into that, feel it fall into there. Yep. And pretty easy. I mean, there's not very much wind today, but that directional control on the runway as well. Yeah. There wasn't really very much. Not input. much to it, is no, it? No, not much to you're it. You're so used to right rudder oh, at the pistons yeah, or a big old prop it. airplane. Whereas not if you're climbing there. up to 10,000 in the SR22, your right leg is like <laughs> killing you by the end as well. Yeah. It's one of the safety things too, I think, of a single jet like this, though, compared to like a turboprop. You notice when we went around earlier, we hit toga and we go around with full yeah. power, but you don't have torque where you're rolling to the left. You don't have a rollover tendency like the large turboprop would have. Yeah. It's just uh, forward thrust. Here we go. You know, the feet auto yaw damper, you don't do anything about it. And flying a jet. It's really <laughs> cool. It's really cool. Does it get old for you? 
Ever. <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, man. Was it uh, three years and about 1,300 hours now flying this thing around uh, the world, and it's been a lot of fun. Oh, I bet. So here as we're cruising along, we're zipping up. You notice you're going to have to trim forward as we're accelerating through 240 knots there. Yeah, that's why, yeah, of course, yeah. Because uh, once you level off like that, you pick up speed pretty fast in this airplane. So what are we getting, Taz, at the most, so 250 knots at the moment? Yeah, so, yeah, exactly right. 250 is still accelerating forward quite a bit. Yeah. Right about here, if you want to take this throttle, we'll kind of pull it back here at 54% power right now. Let's bring it down to about 30%. 30%? Yeah. 30. Go on over to 45. Go past those double bar lines. And, and notice, is. that's not me fighting you. That's the autopilot saying, hey, get back over here yeah. just a little bit, right? Go back over to the right, we'll do the same thing. They're on the right. And as you get up to that 45 degree oh, bank cute. angle, a little back squeeze, little put back the green squeeze. donut there. There you go. And then keep the bank going. I want you to try to fight it this time. Try to stay at 45 right there. Notice it's you can overpower it, but it's tight. <laughs> it's tight. You want to try a little slow flight up here? Yeah, let's do it. Pull the throttle all the way back to idle. Give me your first notch of flaps. Go ahead and drop that down. First notch of flaps. Gear, we'll go ahead and drop that down. Gear down. It was a good idea to keep your hand there till you see three green. Uh, yep. See, I fly with a fixed undercarriage. There you so go. Bad habits. Three, three, green, down three green. That's all right. This is what a normal landing approach is going to feel like, right? right? Just four or five degrees down like this. Power is just a constant. Pitch is a constant. Gives us a stabilized approach. Yeah. Now, we're in this stable approach way back here at 80 knots. Let's make a little turn to the left. 10, 20, even 30 degrees of bank. Notice. Got plenty of altitude here. Just no buffet. No loss uh, of control at all. No, none at all. It's back over to the right, fairly right. aggressively. You want to feel the ailerons. It's got ton of aileron control with no tendency to want to roll over or lose that control whatsoever. Yeah, there is. There's a lot of authority still in that. Yeah. Yeah. So not ever encouraging you to get slow, you know, in the pattern, that kind of time, stick to the speeds we teach you. But I always want people to be able to see the edge of the envelope and just understand how much instability is built into this airplane. We're going to bring the throttle back up to MCT. Okay. You're going to bring the flaps up. Go ahead and clean those up. Bring the gear up. And notice how much you got to start pushing on that stick. It accelerates quickly, so you're going to have to Both trim. Stages. And there you go, the last flaps. Perfect. Start trimming forward. Trimming <laughs> forward. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of pressure, isn't it? Nose is coming right up. you got all that thrust now, <laughs> and you're going out. You did a great job there. Holding it right there around 4 degrees pitch up. 5 degrees pitch up is a good place to resume a climb. Yeah, trying to get the climb back. Yeah. Very cool. Love it. Cool, man. I want to take it in. We'll enter the pattern. Maybe we'll get. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah. We'll get a landing. We'll probably just do a touch and go. Come around. Let you get two in here. Go and yeah. pull the throttle back to idle. So you can just keep it coming around. You could probably start to spool up the engine again. Now go ahead and add that here. We're 2,000 feet up. There you go. Start your turn inbound now. Think great. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. This looks really, really good. Keep the power right there where it's at. We need to actually still bleed off about 20 knots. Full flaps are down. Gear's down. Final check here is complete. I go one, two, three. Gear down, flaps down, pressurization near zero. And you're clear to land. Right there. So there's looking pretty good. We want to end up about the green donut plus about five. So now bring your power back up to about 25%. That's your reference point. We'll kind of stop there and just kind of see how it stabilizes real nice right there. Yeah. Again, constant pitch, constant power equals a stable descent. Looking really good here. Some interesting little gusts there for a place <laughs> with no wind right now. Yeah. Keeping the nose right down at the numbers 2-1, the first runway stripe, just kind of flying the nose right into that. There you go. That's keeping that energy up. You can bring your power back a little bit more now. And all the way to idle, since we're so much above V ref by five knots, you can pull it all the way back. There you go. And we're just going to kind of flare it out here. Hold it off. And then beautiful touchdown. We'll come to a stop on this one. Stop on this one? Yeah. There you go. Nice landing. Thank you. Bit of a tailwind as well, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. We do. It felt a little fast there. Yeah, yeah. The wind swapped around on us. Yep, just pull that back. Squeeze the brakes once. It'll hold that pressure, and you're all good. Really you're enjoyed that, man. Yeah, that was fun. Me too, mate. That, that was, was awesome. Wicked. Oh, God, i got to buy one of these now, don't I? <laughs> Thank you.
Let's go. I officially hate you now, Stuart. Oh, yeah. sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you want one? Yeah. <laughs>